Have you been to the Dollar Tree lately? Because it is, it's fall, it's holidays, it's Christmas, it's, it's here, you guys, it's here. So in this video today, I'm gonna take you on a shop with me and show you all the new fall stuff, the new Halloween stuff. Might run into some Christmas stuff, you never know, but I might hold off on showing you that until later. There is a lot to see in this video and I'm gonna show you everything I find. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. We are heading to Dollar Tree because the holiday season is here. If you love it or not, now is the time to shop Dollar Tree before everything is gone. So I'm gonna take you on a shop with me and show you everything you need to know. If you're new to The Purple Alphabet, click subscribe to join us. We do educational activities for kids, ideas and inspirations to learn through play, hauls, giveaways, and shop with me's. So I would love it for you to join The Purple Alphabet family and click that subscribe button. Because I have so much to show you, I said that really fast, so we're gonna head on over to do the shop with me at Dollar Tree. Whether you're ready for it or not, you guys, it is coming and it's coming fast. We have a lot of Halloween stuff to go through, but first I'm gonna touch on the fall things. If you haven't already, I would definitely recommend getting some of these leaves to make a great sensory bin. They also have these burlap ones too that not only are great for decorations, but are a nice tactile way to do fall themed activities in your house with your kids. You're also gonna find a lot of decor items this time for fall. We have some little rope here, a lot of pumpkins, things that you can make wreaths with or make table decorations in your home. Lots of bows and of course fall themed ribbon all in those really pretty fall colors. This was new to me. I don't think they had this last year. It's a really, really pretty tool. I'm not quite sure what you could use this for with your kids. However, I know a lot of people like to make those tool reefs. Maybe you can cut this up and use it for collage pieces. That might be a fun activity, but they also had a section that was just designed for kids. A lot of Thanksgiving themed activities in here. I really like this pumpkin. It's made so you can put a little plastic fake votive light inside and you can paint it or color it. They also had these wooden turkeys with paints that come with it and a paintbrush. Here's a little acorn and then we also have a turkey which I think is adorable. This would be great to do while you're cooking dinner at Thanksgiving and then they can set it on the table to decorate. These craft kits are always available at the Dollar Tree every single season. I do recommend them. They're a great pull out. Go ahead and start an activity. Love these little votive holders. We've seen them before in the past. I don't know what it is about them. I think they're so adorable. They look expensive and the colors are really really pretty. Of course, they have more fall ribbon here. You can use these for reefs or other craft projects. And then they also have the pumpkins, lots of different varieties here. Some of them look really, really expensive and you can combine them to make some really great decor. I'm gonna breeze right through the signage here. I'm not gonna show you everyone individually, but you can get a good idea of what they have available for fall. And then later, I'm also gonna show you the ones they have for Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, let's get into it. For these really cute cauldrons and different styles, they make great party favors. Then we have these lovely hand tongs for your salad, maybe. <laughs> I actually did some activities using this one and I'm probably gonna make a new activity Halloween themed video too. These eyeballs are great. They come in different colors too. You can use them for decorating. And then they have these party favor syringes, which you could also use in the bathtub for some water play. You might not be having a Halloween party at school, or maybe you do, but consider maybe getting some of these for around the Halloween time just to use at home. We do that sometimes in our house. We get the party napkins or we get a set of plates and we just pull them out for lunch or when we're having a treat. It's just kind of a fun festive way to introduce the season, even though we might not be able to celebrate it in the way we normally would be. Like these cups, the pumpkin one is my favorite. Here's some trays if you're doing some activities and you wanna make them a little festive with the Halloween theme. They have this really cute cute purple ones, orange one that kind of has moving images on it, and then a orange one that looks like a spider web. If you're setting out treats this year, they also have those larger buckets that you can put your treats inside. This is a great option. I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot more of these around this Halloween versus previous years where people just set out their candy on their porch. That's just my hunch though. You can also do individual treat bags. Lots of selections on these. They all come with different quantities and different sizes, some bigger, some smaller. And then they also have have these really cute gift bags. Maybe there's a special someone that you wanted to give a little Halloween treat to, you could use those. I think these are a great size if you're doing them for a lot of trick 
trick-or-treaters that come to your house and they come in some really cute patterns. Let's talk about the party favors. Lots of different ones to pick from this year. Some are repeats from the past. These little hopping toys are new this year, I think. I don't think I've seen them before in the past. I like the mummy one and the Frankenstein one the best. They had the traditional ones too that we normally see for parties, but I will point out my favorite ones. I would have to say the stencils are my favorite because that's helping with your fine motor working on stencils and tracing. Another favorite are the tops. So spinning a top is a skill that I think every kid should learn. And these little prickly balls are great for sensory bins. Those are just kind of my favorites in these party favor section here. We have some Halloween themed pencils and a couple different styles, always a hit. And then some pens too. These are a great size when you're learning how to hold a pencil because they're nice and small and they help you with your pincer grasp. We have the notebooks, always a fan of these because they come so many to one pack. They will go a long way and they're Halloween theme. You can even use these during Halloween week for some activities at your house. I like the pumpkin ones. The sticker boxes are my favorite too because there's 18 in here and it's just a nice little favor that you can give out when you give away your trick-or-treat candy. Lots of different styles with those and then we have larger packs of stickers as well as they do every single year. I kind of like this one right here with the monsters but they have some googly eye ones too which, which I thought were really cute. We have some play foam and Halloween themes. This time we have a ghost and then we also have the pumpkin which is really really cute and then we have some 3D erasers which I haven't seen before either. If you like sensory tools these are really really great squeezable squishies I guess that's what they're called in different styles. We also have the pumpkin, the candy corn, the black cat and then the ghost. Which one's your favorite? I think I like the ghost the best. You'll have to let me know down in the comments which one you really like. We have the trick or treat buckets as we do every year. They're all kinds of different styles. I'm just going to skim over them here to show you what my store has currently. As we get closer to Halloween, they will add more of these as we get closer. Then you also have those no trespassing signage that you can use to decorate doors or decorate houses. And look how cute these are. These are felt garlands. I haven't seen these before and they look super nice and they're really cute. They always bring back those carvable pumpkins. I have never tried one of these. If you have, let me know if they actually work. I'm very curious to know. And then they also have, as they do every year, the trick or treat bags, except this time I think they have a few different styles than they've had before in the past. These are great to hold your trick or treat candy or maybe you just want a cute little book bag to carry some books the week of Halloween. We have some vampire teeth ice cube trays. In the past I've seen pumpkin ones so I'm wondering if my store is gonna bring those out soon. I don't see them quite yet. I like the pumpkin one to do some activities with too. And then we have some orange and purple shot glasses. These are plastic. They look like there's a little hand holding them, a little skeleton hand holding them. And they come several to a pack. The skeletons, we have some in paper and we have some in plastic. I've actually shown you some activities on skeletons and I use this exact one one right here. It's a really good video. I'm going to have to put that down below in the description box for you guys so you can go check it out. The window clings this year are gel window clings and so there's a couple different styles. However, my favorite one is up here at the very top <laughs> with the skeletons for the Day of the Dead. I think these are really pretty. And then of course we got to do all of the decor items. So we have our creepy curtains in both white and black and then here are all of the signs. I'm just going to breeze through them like I did the fall one so you can get an idea of what they have. I don't do a lot of decorating for Halloween. It's really, really minimal. I do put up a couple of things here and there, but some of these signs are super cute. They'd be great on a door. Here's a look at all of the garlands they have in all different colors. Plus they have some that have extra elements on them like the Day of the Dead skulls on this one. They also have ghosts and bats on some of them. We see these every year. They're the decorative pumpkins and Halloween theme. These we see every year too. I actually like the pumpkin one. I think it's super cute. If you just wanna do a little something to decorate, this might be a good option for you. Here's a little bit more of the wall decor. You can also hang this up on a door if you wanted to. I love the giant Google eyes. They have these every year. We have some glow in the dark ones. They come in all different shapes. They even have some round ones that look like dinosaur eyes or reptile eyes. So you have a lot of options. These look really great on a door. I love them. And then every year they always have the styrofoam graveyard signs, the tombstones. They're not the best of quality. I actually think they're rather thin. I've seen better ones that cost just a little bit more at Michael's or other stores like Target and Walmart. 
Here is our pumpkin carving wall. We have these repeats from last year where they're just plastic pieces and they fit right into your pumpkin. The best thing about these is that you can take them out and use them over and over again every year. So I think that's a great idea and I've used them and they've worked very well. New this year are these kits. They're little animals. We have a panda, they even have a sloth and a llama. The only thing is, is these don't come with the paint to paint your pumpkin. You're gonna have to find that somewhere else. Usually at Target they have them. But they're a nice, fun, really easy thing to do with your pumpkins if you just wanna paint and stick on and they're done. We usually do these on the smaller pumpkins and we and then we carve the bigger ones that we get. Let's take a glimpse at some of the costumes they have right now. They have a ton and ton of superhero, action hero elements. I like these. These are kind of sold separately. So we have the pirate vest, plus you can buy the other accessories to kind of create the costume that you want. You can get the headpiece, you know, the headscarf. You can also get all of the hooks or the accessories that come with it. It's up to you. So maybe you have some things or you just need a little extra to make your costume costume that much better. We have a couple of masks here too. I love these. Even if it's not Halloween, these are great for pretend play. If you have a pretend play closet or shelf, I really like the animal masks this year. They're really cute. They're made out of felt. And then they even had some of the name brand Action Heroes masks too. Once again, these are great to buy even for when it's not Halloween to put in a dress up closet. I have a couple of night and Action Heroes. I guess that's kind of like an Iron Man. And then we have some masks to match our pirate too. There's those hooks I was talking about. If you wanted to buy them separately and put together a costume that way. Here's a little bit for our ninja and all the accessories that come with it. And if we keep on going, we're gonna run into some very colorful boas and skirts. These skirts sometimes run a little small, so just be aware of that. I remember them running pretty small, but we see them every single year at Halloween, as well as the fairy or the butterfly wings. What I like about this is that you can get the wings, you can get the little headband, and you can get the skirt, and you just add in whatever you want underneath for clothes, and you have an instant costume. Once again, these are great to buy and put into a dress up bin or a dress up closet just so your kids can put it on and go ahead and do some imaginative play. It doesn't cost very much and it really will get their imaginations going. These are new down here. These are masks. It looks like as a mermaid theme and one was a princess theme. How about this? This craft is a make your own headband kit. I think this is excellent. I haven't tried it. Don't know the quality, but if you have, let me know. We always have the holiday socks and so we have some Halloween ones right now too. These come in adults and kids and they're a lot of fun and then of course they always have scarves so we have this Halloween one here with a jack-o-lantern print I think this one's really really cute it looks expensive it's an infinity scarf and then here are a couple of other Halloween themed ones that are really specific to Halloween not just fall my store had a whole section for day of the dead so we had some trays and some decor items plus they had some masks if you wanted to do a costume that way I don't know if all the stores have this or if it's it's just because I'm really close to Mexico living in San Diego, but I think it's pretty cool that they have this little section for Day of the Dead. This little end cap we see every year, it's a lot of bones and skeleton pieces. So we usually see the same thing every single year. And then they had a Halloween craft section here where you can do a lot of decor items, you know, kind of those DIY projects by combining some of these things too. They always have the ribbon, they have the glitter skulls, and things to make your home look more Halloween-esque. Check out these little candles. I love these. I think I saw these last year. They look like little spiders. I think they're so cute and they have different colors. And then they also had a whole bunch of different signs and decor, kind of those knickknacks that you'd put on shelves or a mantle. Let's go over and look at the non-Halloween stuff back in the toy section. Found some Crayola sun catchers. Yes, we've seen these before, but there are some new styles now. So I was excited to see what they had in store. I actually ended up going home with a couple of these. I'm gonna do a Dollar Tree haul, most likely with the things that I haven't shown you in this video. So you're gonna wanna watch that because there's even more finds in that. Over in the craft section, I found these really cool wooden cars. How fun would this be to make your own race car? And it actually rolled really well. I really like this. So it's a dollar piece. You just have to buy some paint and you can design your own. You probably even could draw on this if you wanted to. 
They had a lot of yarn. This is a steal for $1. You get a whole thing of yarn. This is great to have in your art bin for those extra craft projects that might come up. And over in the toy section, what is this? I couldn't believe this. This is pretty cool. It's a whole base plate for Legos. Now this is the generic brand, so it's not quite the same quality, but it's supposed to work with other building blocks too. And they come in a lot of colors. Here are some new science kits. I haven't tried these, but I'm very, very curious to see if they work. This one is a rocket blast. And then they also had a volcano and they had a couple of these science test tubes. It looks like they had some slime in one and then those gel beads in another. And of course the gemstone excavation kits, always a hit. I love these new notebooks. I wish they had these during back to school. I probably would have got one where they have a little pocket on the front and then the notepad behind it. My favorite one is the black one. It looks really, really expensive. Then they also had some new accordion folders too in some different patterns. These are great for storing all kinds of important documents, organizing bills, or even doing a cash envelope system. Very popular and a great price for these because they cost a lot more in some other stores. I found some new notebooks that had some great stickers on the front and then they had blank pages inside. Lots of different colors on this. Each one seemed to have a slightly different theme. And yes, you guys, Christmas is almost here, at least in Dollar Tree, it's here. But you know what? I'm gonna hold off on showing you all these details, but I did buy some things and I will show you in my haul. Let me know what it is you are looking for at Dollar Tree. I like to hear what you guys like, so when I go next time, I can be on the lookout for those types of things. Plus, other people wanna hear what you have to say too, so leave me a comment and let me know. Guys, click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.